There is an asymmetry in the universe that science can't explain yet. According to the theory of the Big Bang, the universe was created as pure energy that was transformed into exactly equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Matter, as we know it today, is composed of elementary particles, but very soon after the Big Bang, the particles collided with their antiparticles and annihilated themselves. The principle of physics tells us that particles and antiparticles are converted back into pure radiation energy when they annihilate. This leaves us with an unsolved mystery. All the matter that we ourselves, the Earth, and the whole universe are made of should have been destroyed just after the moment of creation. What was it that happened shortly after the Big Bang that made it possible for the matter in the universe to form? The European Spallation Source Neutrino Superbeam, or the ESS USB, is a European design study project financed by the European Commission that is attempting to answer the question of why there is matter in the universe at all. We will be searching for that answer by studying the neutrino which, along with the photon, the carrier of light, is the most common elementary particle in the universe. What once upon a time was felt to be groundbreaking in fundamental research can seem obvious today, like the way that the forces of gravity, electricity, and magnetism function, and the fact that the Earth is round. In the 20th century, Einstein's theory of relativity and Schrodinger's quantum theory lay the foundation for new discoveries in the fields of atomic and nuclear physics, which resulted in a paradigm shift in the production of energy, for example. The invention of the transistor paved the way for the computer, the mobile phone, and the information age. The answers that we are looking for in studying the neutrino are so fundamental that they may provide the basis for many more new revolutionary discoveries. The goal of the ESS and USB is to find out whether there is a natural asymmetry that is reflected in the difference between how neutrinos and their antiparticles traveling in waves oscillate. Even more so, this will reveal to us how different kinds of matter interact. Neutrinos from the Earth, the Sun, and the cosmos are constantly streaming through us, without us even noticing. The neutrino has no electric charge and has minimal mass. Neutrinos pass through matter virtually unimpeded, which makes them very difficult to detect and to study. We can also create neutrinos on Earth. But the sources of neutrinos that we have today are not intense enough for us to be able to identify the subtle differences in interactions between neutrinos and antineutrinos. For a reliable measurement, we need a so-called superbeam, a very intense neutrino particle beam. That is why the ESS New SB project is studying a potential upgrade to the ESS linear particle accelerator in Lund that would create the world's most powerful neutrino beam. Doubling the accelerator's power from 5 to 10 megawatts will make it possible to generate a neutrino beam with an intensity significantly higher than in other neutrino beam projects. This neutrino beam will be directed towards an impressive waterfield Cherenkov light detector. The neutrino reveals itself by the production of so-called Cherenkov light when it collides with an atomic nucleus in the water and converts it to a charged particle. This detector is to be installed in a very large cavern of 1 million cubic meters, a kilometer underground located in either of two mines at Garpenberg or at Sink Gruvan, which are respectively 540 kilometers and 360 kilometers north of Lund, where ESS is located. The distance to the detector is a crucial factor in optimizing the precision of our measurements. The dense Swedish bedrock provides excellent protection against cosmic radiation and is a prerequisite for the construction of the gigantic cylindrical detectors that are required for the project. The most immediate societal benefit will be in the development of new construction methods 
for the monumental infrastructure projects and later in the technological solutions that will be developed and implemented to enable the measurements to be carried out. The project will involve and benefit numerous universities and institutes of higher learning, many of them in the Nordic countries. ESS New SB will represent a unique opportunity for both Europe and Sweden to be world leaders in neutrino physics and will help shape our future society. The project will create a natural meeting place for international research in neutrino physics. But in order to succeed, we will need the support of politicians and funding bodies, as well as the general public. We trust that we shall get such support and are confident that the project shall be a success.